Hey guys, my name is Dakshi Gupta and welcome back to my channel Code with Dakshi. So in this video, let's talk about part 2 of Python, right? So let's start with operators. So first one is arithmetic operator. So in this, let's say a equals to 34 and b equals to 45, right? So in this i want the sum of a plus b so what will i write here sum not sum a plus b is okay then a plus b i'm getting 79 a plus b is 79 okay if i want here a minus b I am getting minus 11 a multiplied by b I am getting 1530 a divided by b 0 0.7555 okay then let's talk about assignment operators right so in this I have a equals to 34 b equals to let's say 23 then in python i'm writing minus equals to 4 then I, if i print a here i am getting 30 why i am getting 30 here because 34 minus 4 okay 34 minus 4 is 30 if I want here B, so B multiply and equals to 7. Let's see what will be the output. 161. Okay. Because in this 23 multiply by 7 is 161. Right. Then comparison operators. In this, let's say I have a equals to and I am giving here a number 77 is greater than or less than 99. Our answer is let's say false. Right. So this is very easy guys. You can do it by yourself also then if i want to check here what is the type of a then the type of a is bool so it is a bool as i told you before guys bool includes true and false right so if you are getting any true or false in this then it is a bool okay so after this let's see about logical operators it includes and or not right so in this i have bool 1 equals to true bool 2 equals to false right so if i print here the value of bool 1 and bool 2 so bool 1 and bool 2 right if we talk about and so it is coming false because in and we have only true or false right we have only false or we have only true right but in or if one is true another is true right and in not bool 2 only one variable will be there right so if we talk about and it includes if one is false another is false in or if one is true another will be true and in not bool 2 or not bool 1 only one variable will be true okay so this is all about logical operators then how can we convert integer to string right so for this 
like I have integer of I have to convert this integer to a string so let's say this and if I want here this is a string okay so integer to string then print type of a this is a integer right if i here do print of a it is coming 666 right after this string of 1 2 3 right so as you can see here now the output is coming as a string in this output is coming as a integer okay so this that's why this is integer and if in this i am writing b equals to str of one two three then if i want here type of b it will coming as a string right so if i am doing here float of 44 right so it is coming 44.0 if you see any value as a point zero or point forty four point zero, then it is a float, right? So after this, let's talk about an interesting thing, guys. As you can see here, a equals to input, enter your name, print a, right? So in this, as you can see here. It is asking me enter your name. I am writing here Rakshi Gupta. So Rakshi Gupta. Right. If I want to check what is the type of A. Uh, Rakshi. It is a string. Right. After this. If I want here. Uh, integer. I don't want here any string like uh, if I'm writing here 1 2 3 it is a string but I want integer so I have to write here int write enter your name and then like c 44 4 4 so it is a integer right because I have used here int if i am not using int here then only it will be a string but if i am using here int of input then it will be an integer right so after this let's see about remainder things let's say i have 55 here b equals to 77 then if i want my remainder here let's say remainder is right for this i have to do this and see 55 right so why this 55 is coming okay so as you can see here so in this a equals to 55 and b equals to 7 right and print remainder is and a of b then remainder is 6 why remainder is 6 is coming because if we are doing if, I, if we are dividing 55 by 7 right so i am getting here some point value 6 point something right but in this it don't take any point value here right as you can see here 90 divided by 3 we all know that 3 into 30 uh, th 3 into 30 is 90 right so remainder is 6 because 90 is divisible by 3 
right so there will be no point value but in this we have so remainder is 6 then a equals to 77 and b equals to 66 is 77 is greater than 66 yes so that's why it is coming true means bold okay so after this a equals to in integer of input enter number one b equals to integer of input enter number two and average if we want to check average as you can as you know guys that average equals to one half okay sorry uh, average equals to half okay so a average equals to a plus b divided by 2 so if i want here what is a plus b by 2 right so if i am giving here 6 and 8 average is 7 right then a equals to integer of input and a number let's say guys uh, in this uh, we have to calculate our square number like i want what is the square of 149 right so i have to use here integer or input now input enter the number okay then print of a multiply by a i want here what is the square of 149 it is triple z triple two zero one okay so this is all about part two of python guys in part 3 of python i will share new things with all of you so guys please show some love please support me and i promise you that i will upload uh, interesting videos okay so please like my video subscribe my channel and please follow me on instagram guys I hope you all are doing well. So thank you so much and take care guys.